Victoria, I have an idea. I want you to meet me in the cider forest tomorrow at noon. I'm gonna teach you how to paint. Hell yeah! If the weather's bad, we'll do it another day, okay? Fuck, now I gotta go check the weather. <laughs> Let's see, uh, weather. Tomorrow, it looks like it's gonna- No! I'm so I'm so distraught now. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna have a date with Leah. Got a little oops. Do my little shindig thing. But yes, uh, I haven't gotten enough money quite yet. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost there. But I still need quite the sum to actually be able to um, get the golden clock. Um, so I have decided to make another barn and hopefully move my pigs over to mm, said barn. I'm a little tempted to move. I know, uh, there I think I will move these guys back to uh, change home building yeah I'm gonna move these pigs back to their original home because I think I'm going to leave this area over here as the pig area and I don't know if I want to move I don't know I don't know if I want this area over there because I kind of like having the cows and sheep, uh, cows and goats in like one area close to this area, but at the same time, it's a little on the small end. And I feel like, uh, okay, I'll be, okay, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of the pigs, but I do like the truffles that they produce. So I want the best area, the best looking area to be for the cows and stuff like that that I care about. But I feel like this area is the bigger area. Um, so that's why I'm like, I don't want the pigs over here. Now I feel like maybe if I spruce it up a bit, I don't know, uh, it's a dilemma. But um, we got uh, full hearts with our wife, Leah. So that's why we got that event uh, going for us. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait an extra day because it is going to be a uh, storm in the day next So unfortunately I cannot uh, Get that done Let's go in here Take all of these I also wanted to show you guys uh, I'm not sure if you guys seen it in a hot second. I, I sometimes don't know when I show you guys anything, but I want to show you guys Hey, uh, I want to show you guys um, This building I upgraded it to a uh, storehouse for all of the other mechanic stuff that I have available to myself. Now, I did this because I feel like, um, yes, I feel like a lot of, I need more room to do the eggs and the cheese, mainly the eggs, uh, not so much the cheese bits. Um, because I feel like the chickens and stuff like that, they gave me a lot of eggs so quickly if I just let it be like a hot second and then I don't have, you know, I don't have enough egg stuff to make it. So that's what I have here. Now, I don't know if I want to make this next row more kegs or if I want to make it more egg stuff because I feel like if, I, I'm not sure if the, my chickens produce enough eggs fast enough. Um, That is something that I do notice. I don't think they produce fast enough. Let's this. Put these over here. So yes, I'm also trying to get um, more tea saplings because I don't have enough of those. Um, hopefully I'm able to get more of them soon enough. Uh, if I were to go onto my other island over here, 
I have been trying to grow up spring stuff that helps make the seed. I've been trying to grow spring seed so I can make more spring seed so I can make um, more of the tea saplings because I need that. So yeah, I think the problem was I just didn't have enough of the radishes to actually produce uh, this. Um, so let's gather up this. Let's uh, pile this up real quick. I don't like the way it looks. Water this. And then let's make uh, two of the spring seeds. Um, let's just make as much as we possibly can. And then grow these here. I guess I can take up all, oh, even the, these up there, girl. Okay, let me take these up. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to spend the day making uh, star fruit seeds to so continue growing the star fruits. Uh, I feel like I am at the point of overproducing some things. For instance, I am overproducing uh, ancient fruit, which is the blue fruit up above. Uh, these fruit up above. I have enough of these. Ooh, I have full inventory. Ooh, interesting. I'm growing too much of these because um, now that hey, okay, I need enough. I need more earlier before to get enough to uh, make sure that I can always do my kegs in the what you call it the um, space over there. Let's put these in here for now. Uh, let's put these in here for now. And I think. Can I grow more of these? 13. I think that's actually enough. Um, let's go back over here. Ah, one left. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Ah, so close yet so far. But yes, I have been overproducing um, ancient fruit. As you see, these are my extras, and I have already 200 golden uh, ancient fruit. And I am turning these into uh, jams or more wines over here because I just have so much because of the extra patch that I grow because we didn't have enough previously. But now we have a little bit too much, uh, which is not too much of a bad thing because I still plan on growing the star fruit. Uh, like crazy. I still plan on growing the star fruit like crazy. Um, the only thing is now is that, um, yeah, it's just, I just plan on growing the star fruit just so I can make more jams if I don't have enough. But yeah, that's just something that I've been uh, working on. Uh, let's see. Did my seed machines break? Or did I leave them over there? Uh, let's go take a quick look to see because I don't recall. Um, if I left the sea machines over there in the other area because I don't remember if I saw them or not. If they are broken, okay. So I accidentally. Okay, so the thing is, I accidentally was just playing by myself on the side, and I, yeah, I fucked up. So yeah, so I was um taking the seeds out. Oh, no seeds. A line. I was uh, getting ready to go mining uh, because I still needed to go find the last walnuts and in the process of trying to get the wal last walnut I, I had a bomb in my hand and by accident I put the bomb down and it destroyed a lot of perishable stuff so nothing in the chest it destroyed the phone uh, the little crafting bench thing and it destroyed the cloth maker uh, but I didn't notice that it also destroyed the seed maker, so I'm gonna have to make uh, those up again. A little sad that that's the case, but uh, I can make those again, I believe, uh, unless they're not unless they're too expensive to make. Um, so I don't remember how much those cost, but I need more of those. So I need uh, three sets of 
these fairy thing, the fairy uh, flowers. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. So let's go home real quick. Okay, so um, so yeah, my mom was just calling me because um, if you guys don't know that you know it's cha it's chaotic this uh, winter. A lot of people are indeed suffering, and uh, some of those people happen to be us as well because um, our pipes busted and it caused a lot of flooding. And I had to. It, it happened when uh, my parents are both away at work, and I don't know how to turn off the water. So I was freaking out because I'm like, holy shit, I don't know how to turn off this water. I don't want them to have to come home. And figure out how to turn off the water, or then for them to turn off the water. Thankfully, it was actually pretty easy to go and turn off the water. Um, all I needed to do was go and to the basement where it was flooding, and uh, turn off the valve. And um, it genuinely sucked. It sucked because there was so much water that it was almost up to my thighs. And I'm 4'10. I'm 4'10, and the water was up to my thighs. Uh, I don't know if that means anything to you guys, but that's how much water there was downstairs in the basement. And it was absolutely sad because, um, the water, the water valve that turned off the water from the entire house was in, underwater. It was underwater, and I actually had to stick my hands, uh, down deep into the water to actually turn it off. And that part stuck because it was stupid cold, because it's, it's, it's water that's frozen. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's starting to get warmer now, so that the water is, um, so yeah, I, I think it's starting to get warmer now. Just, you know, it's starting to, it feels like spring outside. So I feel like pipes are starting to de-thaw, but so that some parts of the pipes might still be frozen. So if some pipes, some parts of the pipes are still frozen, and some are thawing, uh, the water wants to go somewhere, so it just bursts out. I don't know how, if that's how it works, but that's how I think it works. That's how I, that's how I think it's what, what happened. Um, so that's why the pipes bursted and there's just water everywhere and it was so deep that I felt like I was my legs were so cold that you know I felt like they're gonna fall off but uh, I was able to actually turn them off and my mom was just calling me to make sure that I, I go take a hot shower at my aunt's house where you know we live right across the street so I can you know warm up and you know not hopefully not get sick from the going into the cold water and shit like that um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of sucks. Everything kind of sucks. Uh, a lot of Texans are going through the same shit right now. Um, this is probably the second time this happened to us where the pipes have bursted. It happened last year and it's happened this year now. So it's, it seems like it's a running theme. And the, the problem, the, the problem seems, uh, for those who live in the cold weather, they, we know that you need to have a water drip going consistently through the cold season if it is cold enough where pipes freeze unfortunately someone in the family forgot that was a thing and if you use the water and you're, you're used to turn off the water uh someone turned off the water and forgot that they're supposed to keep it on and keep it dripping that um before we knew it uh they turned off the water and it was overnight and then the pipes froze so we couldn't even turn it on and we were hoping throughout the entire winter that the pipes weren't gonna burst and so far it was fine it's only until the weather got nicer that the pipes were like, you know what? I think I want to cry now. And the pipes um, broke. So that's uh, our defeat. But yeah. Um, I'm going to finish seeding this place up. And then hopefully we will get back to um, getting the clock and seeing up the new stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll see if we can get uh, the event with Leah because I believe... That's going to be after tomorrow because it's going to be raining and she wants to do it when it's a nice day. So, yes. Hopefully I'm not late. Uh, she said she wanted to come down here. Here we are. Thank God. Listen, it, Marnie, uh, Leah, how much longer will this be? My knees are quivering. My thighs are whimpering. I've lost all sensation in my foot. Just keep perfectly still, Marnie. No squirming. That's... I mean, you should have at least given them something to sit on, Leah. Hey, Tori, what style do you think I should do? I'm up for anything. Hmm. Classy country. Paw. Ooh. Ugh. 
Stick with the classic look, huh? I like, I think Marnie will appreciate that. <laughs> Marnie will not appreciate that. How come, uh, how is your coming along? I'm trying my best. Hey, that's all I can ask. If you keep trying your best, you can't help but get better at it. Make me look good. Shh. <laughs> it's so terrible. No, don't forget the technique I taught you. Broad, uh, broad strokes, hold the brush like so. There. What do you think? Oh. I love it. That's going up in my room. Well, let's see what Tori's got. Oh, no. I know I'm better than this. Please. No, I'm good at art. I promise. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. Uh, a different kind of approach for sure. <laughs> no. Don't look at it, Marie. Don't do it. <laughs> Never. That's terrible. I'm memeing. I'm memeing, you guys. I'm memeing. <laughs> you can hang pop up in your room. No. I'm burning this one. I'm sacrificing this one. Terrible. <laughs> My first paint? I don't want it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't want this? It's gonna haunt me in my dreams. Oh my god. Fuck that shit. Oh my god. Terrible. Can I sell this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, guys. Oh god. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oof. Anywho, uh, I believe I, I'm not sure if I sold it right now or I sold it already, but, uh, these turned into silver quality and I was able to actually, um, dust them with some of the fairy dust, which, uh, turned them out. Honey, uh, were you planning to hang out that painting? Did you? Where were you planning to hang out with that painting? Uh... Behind the chinero. Do this. Right there. So no one knows where it's at. <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's all it's gonna stay right there by the cabinet. <laughs> oh god. But honestly, uh let's go check to see uh what my pretties have down here. Let's give oh no, they're hungry. Okay. Um I should have some now. Yes, I should have some hay in there now. I guess they just didn't eat yesterday, which is why they're so upset. Um, I want to see how much eggs they have. How the fuck did you get out? Oh, my bad. I fucking left the gate open. I'll leave it open then, because they're already... Let me take these. Uh... Let's take these. Let's go see how much milk we got. Actually, I think I'll transfer. I know most of them are upset over here. Let's transfer most of the pigs over there. Change home. I think I'll keep this area over here for the pigs. cows move to the new barn i have the goats separated with the ostriches in their barn the pigs will be hopefully moving to their own barn as well so i have somewhat uh, of a system going on for my uh animals 
I do want to get more animals, but I have a problem where I do not have enough feed. Um, the problem also is I do not have enough money. Now, I could think of the benefit of the animals and just ignore uh, the clock until I have enough money for that. Or I could just ignore the animals and look at the profit of what I have currently. Uh, I just go get some food for them. And then hope that they continue to produce so that I can get enough money to actually stabilize everything. But what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to take all of these items that have been turned into uh, produce and ship them off. Uh, you ship them off. And see if it pushes me over. Uh, I hi Not that I highly doubt. Is that I have a feeling that they will uh, tip me over. You know what? I'll sell the ancient fruit as well. I know I could make a profit off of it uh, more if I turn them into jams, but I'm going to keep uh, the other stuff going for it. So let's just do this. I did not want to sell the honey. Whoops. Ah, well, too late. <laughs> and let's see how that goes. Um, it's still pretty early in the day, so I am going to go... Let's see. Now that everyone is going inside their homes to see what I have over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pigs over here. Let's see what they're over here. Let's see what is uh in the house or housing over here. I have all these guys in here. Oh, that's broken. And let's see what's over here. So one pig. Can I actually home you, rehome you? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do that. I guess I'm gonna have to get the bigger barn for him to move over there. Uh, let's head over here. You know, I'm probably going to wait until I have enough money to take care of the animals and take care of everything else before I actually buy the clock because I don't like the idea of my animals suffering uh, with hunger. So I'm going to do that. So I will be right back. Once I get enough money, I'm going to probably upgrade the barn, uh, get some feed, uh, and then hopefully uh, say, earn, earn more money to actually be able to uh, take care of the clock. So I'll be right back when I have all that kind of done. <laughs> 